In English, you can express the cause effect relationship using two different orders. In one, the cause appears first, and in two, the effect appears first. In Japanese, you have only one option, the one in which the cause appears first. In this unit, we will study how to form such sentences. There are three points to remember in forming such sentences in Japanese. Point one, introduce the cause first, followed by the effect. Point two, place kara, a sort of bridge between the two connected parts. Point three, attach kara to the first part. Here is an example. You can use polite sentences in both parts. Here is another example. This example shows that you can also use a direct style sentence followed by a polite sentence. The sentence is still considered a polite sentence because the last part counts most in the computation of politeness. Similarly, Note that you can use direct style sentences in both parts too. Avoid using a polite sentence followed by a direct style sentence. Even if you use a polite form in the middle of a sentence, the lack of it at the end of the sentence will make the overall sentence less polite. Now try more. And more? うるさいから勉強できません静かだから勉強できます雨が降っていますから、ピクニックはありません。風が強いから、家にいます。外は寒いから、家の中にいます。美味しそうだから食べる。まずそうだから食べない。字が小さいから読みにくい。